The thyroid gland is located on the anterior surface of the neck. You can feel it just below the Adam's apple and between the sternocleidomastoid muscles. The muscles will obstruct your palpation if you don't stretch your neck upward. The thyroid gland is narrow across the anterior surface and enlarges on both sides as it wraps around the airway. The thyroid gland is shaped like a bow tie with a narrow central region called the isthmus. On either side of the isthmus, the thyroid gland has a right lobe and a left lobe. When we look at a thin slice of the thyroid gland under a microscope under low power, we first notice a pattern of many circles. Looking more closely, we can see dots surrounding the pink colored circles. Then at high power, it becomes more clear that the dots surrounding the circles are actually cells. The red or orange dots sp spread out are red blood cells. This is common as all glands have a lot of blood vessels within them to allow the hormones from these glands to readily enter the circulation. The large pink circular areas are called follicles. These follicles are filled with a large molecule called thyroglobulin, which is a storage form for the thyroid hormones T3 and T4. Surrounding each follicle are follicular cells. These are made of simple cuboidal epithelial tissue. Thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary gland targets these follicular cells to initiate the release of the thyroid hormones T3 and T4 from within the follicles into the bloodstream and out to the cells of the body. The cells in the areas outside of and adjacent to the follicles are called parafollicular cells. Parafollicular cells are also known as C cells because they produce the calcium hormone calcitonin. Calcitonin is a hormone produced by the thyroid gland. It is produced by the parafollicular cells located outside of the pink follicles. Calcitonin targets the bones of the skeletal system and the kidneys for calcium regulation. The role of calcitonin is to lower blood calcium levels. Calcitonin targets the kidney tubules to excrete more calcium out in the urine and by targeting the bones to take up more calcium for storage. High blood calcium levels, not the pituitary gland, initiate the release of calcitonin from the thyroid gland. The main hormone produced by the thyroid gland is tetraiodothyronine, most commonly called T4 or thyroxin. The thyroid also produces triiodothyronine, commonly called T3. T3 is produced by the thyroid in much smaller quantities. However, T3 is more bioactive. That is preferred by the cells of our body. The, these hormones are made by the follicular cells and stored in the many large follicular pools found within the thyroid gland. T3 and T4 from the follicular cells of the thyroid gland have an effect on all of the cells of the body. Its primary function is related to lipid and carbohydrate metabolism and the basal metabolic rate. In children, T3 and T4 play a role in growth and brain development. Remember, the stimulus to release these thyroid hormones comes from the thyroid stimulating hormone from the anterior pituitary gland when the basal metabolic rate of the body has slowed down. It is detected by the hypothalamus which sends out thyrotropin releasing hormone to the anterior pituitary, then the anterior pituitary sends out thyroid stimulating hormone to the thyroid gland, which in turn releases T3 and T4. T4 and T3 are each named for how many iodine molecules they have attached. Tetraiodothyronine has four iodine molecules and triiodothyronine has three iodine molecules. T3 is the bioactive form that is most readily utilized by our body's cells to increase mitochondrial metabolism. Since the thyroid gland makes mostly T4 and very little T3, each cell must take it in T4 to, and use 
an enzyme to cut off an iodine to make their own T3. Under normal conditions, the iodine that the enzyme removes makes T3 that increases metabolism. Normal T3 is formed when an enzyme cleaves off an iodine from T4. This normally increases metabolism. Recently, it has been found that under stressful conditions, a different iodine molecule is removed, which makes reverse T3, which decreases metabolism. Reverse T3 is formed when the wrong iodine is removed. This is an important finding because this explains what is going on in patients that have hypothyroid symptoms but have lab work indicating normal amounts of T3 and T4. Only recently have laboratories been able to test specifically for normal T3 and for reverse T3. In summary, the thyroid gland is located in the neck with a narrow central region and enlarges it as it wraps around the airway. Histological features include circular pools called follicles surrounded by follicular cells with adjacent parafollicular cells. It releases two hormones that affect metabolism, T3 and T4, and calcitonin, which decreases blood calcium levels. There are four separate parathyroid glands located on the posterior, so we have to turn this around. You can see these four, and they're just attached to the thyroid gland itself. Parathyroid hormone is produced by chief cells in the parathyroid gland. Its role is to increase blood calcium levels. It is the most important regulator of calcium and phosphorus in the body. It targets the bones, kidneys, and intestines to increase blood calcium. Kidneys are stimulated to retain calcium. Calcium is taken away from bone and the more calcium is absorbed by the intestines. All of this works together to increase blood calcium levels. Therefore, the stimulus to release parathyroid hormone is low calcium levels.